What's up guys, Manny from Motor Million. It's time to put the finishing touches to the Zen 1000 R. Well, finishing touches, and we're probably thinking what the finishing touch is going to be. One of them is pretty obvious, is these uh, mirrors got to go. And when we remove the mirrors, the turn signals are going to get removed too. So we got to figure out the turn signal situation. Luckily, we have all the Rizoma parts for it. We haven't done the Rizoma mirrors on the M1000RR or on our own, well, previously owned M1000RR because it did not exist. The 2023 and 2024 have different bases than an S1000RR. That means that you have to run new mirrors by Rizoma. They actually just, just got released. We just got a shipment from Rizoma for them. So it's time to put it on this beautiful M1000RR that's owned by 650 EB. After we do the mirrors and the turn signals or during we do the mirrors and the turn signals, we're gonna replace all of the bolts for the Protite titanium bolts. It's gonna be blue. It's probably one of Eve's favorite colors, but they come in gold, silver, and black colors as well. But uh, so I think I got to start taking everything apart off the bike once again. So we have access to the cables and everything else for this bike's mirrors. And then we'll try to see and check back if we figure anything else out that we missed out during the whole process, guys. Well, I guess uh, I just figured something out that there is one part that Eep did not install on this bike even though he had it. And I'm guessing because it had to come to down to this state for it to be installed. And uh, maybe Zach was busy and he didn't have the time to do it. But this plastic piece that's in here that we did on our M1000RR, on the Motor Million M1000RR was carbon. If you guys watched that episode and this one is still plastic, it needs to be carbon. Why do you ask? Because this is another Motor Million M1000RR and it needs to have that carbon, no plastic, death to plastic. Let's get that carbon as well while we're here. Well, I guess this is the final plastic piece that we're gonna get rid of. It's as simple as, well, getting to it wasn't simple. It wasn't too bad actually. But we just remove this, you put this in place. Let's see how it fits, the ZMM carbon piece. It fits beautifully. Now we got to put all the other pieces back on and uh, time to do the turn signals right after that. So here's our mirrors. You probably know what the stealth looks like. You'll see it in a second, but this is our turn signal kit. And I want to mention something to you guys, just like every other video where we install the parts on these motorcycles, all of the links to the parts that we're using in the description below. And this is our kit from Rizoma that has everything to make this plug and play for your S1000RR and M1000RR. I'm gonna be honest, your Ducati fanboy has never installed it on a BMW yet. I've installed it on many Ducatis and I know how it goes. These kits come with resistors. I don't know if I'm gonna need them or not for this M1000RR. So I did mock it up and we have our little bracket that goes on the fairing piece you'll see in a second and we have our connector installed on the motorcycle. I'm just gonna quickly wire it up with no resistor to see if it actually needs it, if it's gonna not hyper flash and that's what you need the resistor for, or also not to get any kind of error code on your dash saying that you're missing your turn signals. We're gonna give it a try and then if we need a resistor, we have the resistor here, we'll put that on and we'll try it with the resistor. So hang on tight, let's figure this out and let's put these on the bike because this install should be pretty straightforward. So no error codes, which means we don't need to use a resistor on these. I just gotta wire these things up. They come with these plugs, the quick connectors, but I actually like to use soldering iron and solder them up and finish them up nicely. I have to figure out the lengths and this is gonna sit right here. So we have to run the wiring and this sits right here. Trust me, it's bright enough that you're gonna be able to tell that the bike is signaling right or left and that it's actually signaling as well. Once we have all that done, we'll wire it up, we'll do the other side, and then it'll be time to put everything back on the bike. So it's all shrink wrap now. I'm gonna put a little bit of electrical tape over it, and then this will be ready to install. And I gotta do the same thing for the left side turn signal, and then we'll be good to go.
Well, here's our Rizoma mirrors. And they come with, this is the first time I see this actually. It comes with some sort of a template. Maybe this is a foam pad that we got to put on there. Here they are, M1000 R2324 specific mirrors. They look great. Right off the bat, you could tell that this piece right here, this is a piece that's different. I know some of you guys like to hate on this, but trust me, if you use it, well, let's put it this way. If you can't see out of your stock mirrors, these things will help. And if you can, good for you, but we're still putting them on. You got the foam. So these foam pads have a sticky side and I'm gonna just stick it right here, just like this. So I believe this is here so that when the mirror sits on top of here, it doesn't scratch the carbon fiber bodywork that it goes on top of. That looks pretty good. Let's give it a try. We already have blue Pro-Tie bolts for the mirrors. Wow, does that ever change the look of this motorcycle, right guys? This is amazing. Well, one side is on guys. One thing I noticed, so Rizoma claims obviously they win tunnel tests or they test with uh, some CAD software to have the proper downforce effects. And seeing this, I believe it because the shape obviously is completely different than an S1000RR. I've seen so many of them that just by looking at it, I could tell, and if you don't believe me, Take a look at this shape and look at that. We have an s 1000 R here. It is totally different. And uh, I guess the m 1000 R is actually wider and also that maybe it has bigger wind nets. So there's some sort of an effect that it needs to be more up and more to the side. And if you take a look now, it's clearly visible. It kind of looks weird right now without the big wings and the fairings on and I think once you put the big wings and the fairings on, it's just gonna be perfect because again, take a look at this thing. This is so bubbled up in the front, that's why it probably has to be a completely different angle than a regular S1000RR. I'm loving the look. Let me get it on that side. Let's put the body work on and then it's pro tie time. Okay, now that the front end is somewhat put back together, we got these two pieces. So we got a, a spacer and a bolt. So these are what we're gonna to use to mount those turn signals that are under here. Basically, this goes on the bracket that comes with the turn signal kit, and then this will just bolt into your factory location on your fairings. It's just gonna go just like this. And this goes through. And then we find a place right here. Well, here they are, both turn signals installed. If you don't wanna take my word that they're bright, they're really bright, that's why I'm not looking here, I'm looking at you guys, because I already blinded one eye by looking into the right turn signal earlier. It's on, it looks beautiful, but now I'm gonna continue on to putting the bodywork back on, and then we're gonna switch all the bolts to Pro-Tie bolts. Well, that's it guys. Our Rizoma mirrors are on. We did our turn signals as well in the front. While we're there, we added the carbon intake and we added a lot of pretty prototype bolts that are the titanium bolts that save weight. But since we're talking about weight, let's play this game. Let's ask you guys, what do you guys think this M1000RR weighs? And when I'm asking what it weighs, it's full of, full of fluids. That means all the oil is in there obviously, but it's gonna be filled up all the way to the top at the fuel tank. So guess the weight, I think this bike was around 427-ish or 430 something when it was bone stock. On the next video, which will be the official walk around this beautiful M1000RR, we'll disclose the weight of it as well. Maybe we'll show the weighing of it. 
But uh, I think this bike is done. It's looking beautiful. It deserves every bit of the name Motor Million M1000RR, one of two in existence. And this one is the one to get fully converted into carbon fiber first because the other one is also being converted. This one is also the first one to have the full olden suspension with the aero package, guys. And if you guys haven't seen those episodes, we have them on YouTube, go check them out. But I think that's it for this episode. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Until next time, guys, have a good one.